We present our work on locomotion policy guided traversability learning using volumetric representations of complex environments. Today, modern legged robots are capable of traversing challenging terrains. Despite this amazing progress, autonomous deployment of such systems is hindered by the problem of estimating where the robot can go safely. For this, it is key to assess the terrain traversability within the robot's surrounding, which depends on the terrain, hardware and deployed locomotion policy. We propose to leverage a physics simulator to assess the traversability capability of our legged robot animal, which is controlled by a reinforcement learning locomotion policy. First, we generate diverse random terrains using freely available object meshes designed by professional artists. Secondly, we let thousands of robots traverse the randomly generated terrain, trying to achieve a set of predefined locomotion commands. We chose to collect six motion commands, consisting of moving along the cardinal directions with respect to the robot's base frame and turning clockwise and counterclockwise. A success probability is calculated for each motion command at a given location by simulating multiple execution attempts under domain randomization. Red voxels indicate that fewer successful motion commands were achieved compared to the blue voxels with a higher success rate. This simulation procedure is computationally expensive and relies on perfect information about the environment. Therefore, the simulation cannot be exploited directly for navigation during a mission. To overcome this, we propose using a sparse neural network which predicts the simulated traversability from a robot-centric voxel occupancy map representation. The network consists of an encoder-decoder structure and is implemented using NVIDIA's Minkowski engine. Let's have a look on how the training data is generated. We first take a valid spawn pose of the robot within one of the previously analyzed meshes. Within an 8x8x4 meter robot base frame aligned box, we convert the mesh into a voxel-based occupancy representation with a resolution of 10 cm by marking all voxels that contain a triangle as occupied. The traversability target for the network to learn is extracted within the same volume and resolution. In total, we collect the traversability information for 30 random meshes with a size of 32 by 32 meters, 5 free world meshes of an underground cave and multi-floor university building are used for testing the network's performance on real data. When we now deploy our robot in the field, we can use the real-time capable network to predict the traversability within the surrounding of the robot. We tested our system within various complex underground, forest and indoor environments. On the bottom left, you can see the incrementally built up VoxBlocks occupancy map and network traversability estimate. We show the benefit of our method in low ceiling environments, 